Hello, Garland. How are you? I'm good, Michelle. Thank you. Good. So, I'm good, thanks. Yeah. I'm very excited to be hearing from you today. Mm. Um, would you share with me what qualification you've just completed? Yeah, so I've just completed a Bachelor's of Theology Honours. Awesome. Well done. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. And uh, what motivated you to pursue the honours? Yeah, so I actually was planning to do my degree and pause. Okay. But my wife was actually the biggest cheerleader forcing me to actually ah, well <laughs> continue done, with wifey. that. Uh, <laughs> but then I think just my desire to be excellent in terms of studying God's word and being somebody who can present God's word in an excellent way was part of my motivation for oh. continuing my studies actually. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So you did a bachelor before this? Yes. Awesome. Yeah. And we couldn't graduate at that point because yes. it was COVID. So ah. it was an online graduation. Ah, so <laughs> welcome. <laughs> okay. And how do you feel this honors has prepared you for your future career or your ministry or further studies? Sure. Yeah. So I'm, I'm actually in ministry. So I work full time for Scripture Union okay. and I'm a minister of a local church as well. And I think the biggest challenge for me has been looking around in our country and, and even around the world in terms of how false doctrine is presented. Mm -hmm. And I really wanted to ensure that when I teach God's word that it's actually done in a way that's honoring to him, but also that's theologically sound. And so I think that's really been one of the things that's prepared me in terms of my regular delivery of God's word, but also in terms of the field of ministry that I am in. Sure. With Scripture Union, uh, we, we definitely are Bible-based, and so we want yes. to ensure that God's word, when taught to young people as well, is taught in a manner that's theologically sound. So I think that's something that's very important to me, and so that's the reason. That's yeah. awesome. What exactly is the ministry of Scripture Union? So we do a uh, ministry to young people where we share the gospel with them and we help them in terms of their journey of faith, and we do this through relational ministry. Yeah. So oh, basically from the point of unchurched, yes. I'm trying to help them on their discipleship journey. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So... Uh, when you were studying, did you have a quirky place or ritual mm. that <laughs> <laughs> helped you get through? Yeah, so it wasn't necessarily, a, well, I think my wife would consider the fact that I was generally lying on my bed and it was time to type <laughs> assignments as, as a quirky spot. But that was my most comfortable spot. But having popcorn, like popcorn, ah. popcorn was my go-to in terms of reading times and popcorn. also typing. So like, I'll be able to <laughs> do that quick. I don't know. It, maybe it got my brain to work faster or something. But Amazing. That was my thing. <laughs> I'm obsessed with popcorn as well. Can't explain it. <laughs> it's a good one. Uh, and so uh, another fun question if your degree was a movie genre, mm. what genre would it be and why? So I think during assignment time, horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was <But> scared. <laughs> I was scared I was going to get an answer like that. <laughs> but generally, I'd say it was an adventure. It's really just oh, cool. navigating through the courses. It's, it just was yeah. eye-opening for me to discover new truths and to get new perspectives, actually. Yeah. You know, when, you, when you're listening to and you, you're discovering other perspectives of God's word, and being able to align your mind and, and explore those things, I think it was really an adventure. It's like digging for gold and, ah. and you're finding stuff there. So that was really good for me. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, and then last one. Um, what advice do you have for students or potential students who are thinking about doing an honours? Yeah, so I mean, firstly, maybe let me just quick, uh, give a quick punt for SATs. Yeah. I think people should definitely consider studying through SATs because it, it's interdenominational and it gives you a real overview of, of Christian ministry in, in, in the world, really. So it's not just specific on one denomination. And I think that, for me, is, is critical. So I think students who wish to study God's Word, you want a place that's Christ-centered, and this is what you have here at SATS. And then I think practically, um, especially if you for honor students, I think the moment you start your course, begin to think about uh, how you're going to position your final uh, mini thesis. Okay. And so from the get-go, when you're doing your general orientation and your research methodology, yes. so that you can start planning from that from the get-go. So I think that would be really, really helpful, and I would encourage students to, to focus on that and do that. Yeah. Awesome. Do you want to give us a preview about your master's? <laughs> no preview. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. Uh, so I've, I've started conversations, and we're looking at exploring a biblical approach to relational evangelism. Ah. Yeah. Awesome. Very relevant. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you so much. All right.